the Golden Joysticks are an award ceremony that's voted for by the British, British public, the British gaming public. The 1.2 million this year, which is bigger than it's ever been. It's great, you know. Um, I'm a, I'm a long-time gamer. Um, uh, I, ZX81 was my, my very first console. Then we moved elegantly towards the BBC B, then the Nintendo 64, uh, a couple of Mac games in between, uh, and now I'm a fully-fledged kind of Xbox, PS3 man. Um, so it's great to be here, to meet kind of heroes from the industry, uh, and to, uh, well, to talk about games. It's great. And the first award and it's for the Nitro Family Game of the Year. It's Little Big Planet. What the public are doing is saying they actually really want the game, they love the game, they don't care how it's made, it's about the fun that they have in playing the game. Is there anything in the pipeline for Little Big Planet? I, I could tell you, but I'd have to shoot you if I did that. Um, but um, you know, this is the start of Little Big Planet, and, uh, and obviously it comes to PSP uh, very, very soon, and uh, the guys are working really hard. The public most of the ones that really count because they're the, they're the fans of the game. So, um, you know, if, if you get a, a, an award from the public vote, that's always the ones that, that count the most. We just actually released the same game on uh, PSP, so I'll give that a little plug. Uh, that came out last week. And, uh, you know, we'll see what, what, what comes next year. I mean, the guys have worked really hard to make you know, bring Metal Gear Solid to the Apple platform uh, for mobile games and yeah, just shows that people really did like the game. Yeah, we're thrilled obviously, and multiplayer community is really important to us. Um, we've heard that over a million people, a million fans have voted for these awards, so we're all obviously really excited because it's the fans that voted for this one, so we're really pleased. The one thing that, uh, that our studio teams do with Call of Duty is they always find fresh ways to innovate each year, so the experience gets better and better each year, and uh, that's set to continue this year in, in a pretty big way. Gears of War as a franchise has been fantastic on the Xbox as a console and uh, it really kind of pushes the graphical capabilities, the multiplayer, you know, all the, all the kind of storytelling aspects and the characters in it. Uh, again, it's probably an Epic's award as much as it is uh, from an Xbox perspective, so um, I'll take it. Which is the Rampage soundtrack of the year? It's Guitar Hero World Tour. We're very happy and proud to win uh, Soundtrack of the Year. It's the second time Guitar Hero has won it. Um, music's the heart of, uh, of Guitar Hero. Uh, our music team does a great job um, at selecting the best tracks, and Guitar Hero really now is for everyone. Okay, it's time to name the UK Developer of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, the Amicus Games UK Developer of the Year, Jagex. Totally unexpected. Um, I just want to give all credit to our players and our incredible staff. We're going to keep building the world's biggest free game and uh, having lots of fun while we do it. Okay, we turn now to the PlayStation Game of the Year. It's Killzone 2. Killzone originally was, was shown when we introduced PlayStation 3 at E3 in the, in the States a few years ago and there, there, was, there was a huge amount of hype surrounding it and it was really difficult for the guys to live up to the hype but they did and then they surpassed it on, on uh, Killzone 2 so we've gone from strength to strength so I think that the, guy, the guys will be really really proud to get this award and I'll make sure that I send this on to them. Xbox World 360 Publisher of the Year, who won? Activision Blizzard to the stage, please. We're, we're absolutely thrilled and delighted to receive the award. Um, it's voted for by the fans, so there's over a million fans that have voted for the award. Um, I think it's a testament to all the great games that we have um, at Activision Blizzard. Okay, the penultimate award is for the one to watch. When it is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, it means a lot to us. Uh, there's a lot of hard work gone into this by everyone back in the office, the developer, 
um, a lot of people put in a lot of hours for this, so I'm really close to it. We've been working um, collectively as a team to make this the biggest entry in the large fall time, and everyone's really excited at, at the prospect of making this the biggest selling game of all time. Okay, this is it. The ultimate game of the year in association with Zavi.com. The winner is Fallout 3. We've got another Fallout coming out next year, Fallout New Vegas, which will be out on sort of a PC and console formats. And then we'll go up and up and up from there, I guess. We've just put out Game of the Year, so you can get everything all in one on PC, uh, which is out in stores now.